suffocated city in the United States. It's alright though. It's alright. All we can do is make us heroes to the cause. Cause that we all believe in. The Black Lives Matters movement. What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! How y'all doing? Yo, how y'all doing out there? How y'all feeling out there? Yo, this is like day, I don't even know no more, like day seven or something like that, right? Right? She's been out here with us the whole time, raise your hand, man. Yo, this this has like been a great experience. I mean, except for the police beating me up and the death threats and all that. But other than that, it's been like a lot of fun with y'all and I really appreciate y'all coming out, man. I wanted just y'all to see my face and let y'all know like, don't be discouraged, we gonna march, we gonna walk, don't worry about nothing on social media, don't worry about nothing I'm going through with the police. I'm here for y'all, we gonna walk as long as we can, and just keep your eyes open for anything suspicious. We gonna keep being safe, we gonna keep walking, because it's about the message, it ain't even about me. So we gonna keep our message going, we got togetherness, we got all different races out here, we all together because we know what's going on against black people in this country is wrong, okay? You don't have to be black to know that America treats black people wrong. Simple facts. You can be any color in the world and you know that black people are being treated unfairly, okay? So you either with us or you against us, okay? So if you don't believe that black people need equal rights or anything like that, then you just racist. And I ain't trying to say it like that. So we need to separate the world into the people that's gonna be honest and recognize that they got privileges. White people got privileges over us that we can't afford, okay? It is what it is, okay? If I was white, I wouldn't want to lose my privilege neither. I get it. But at the end of the day, it's not fair, okay? You can't expect all of us to feel like we equal. You can't expect all of us to feel like we the same when white people got an advantage over black people in every aspect of life. And that's just the truth, okay? Y'all can't do nothing about some of that stuff, but a lot of that stuff, y'all can help us with voting, y'all can help us with awareness, y'all can help us by letting other people know that y'all march with black people and y'all have fun, it was all love. We not dangerous, we not scary, we none of those things the media panics is being, okay? And y'all also know, since y'all been doing this, the media has been painting y'all in a negative light as well. We've been peacefully protesting and they painting y'all in a negative light too. Okay, so y'all starting to experience some of the stuff that we go through just for standing next to us. They don't even want y'all standing next to us. They start treating y'all like y'all one of us. Okay, because they don't appreciate the fact that y'all don't want y'all white privilege no more. And that's just the truth. They think that y'all so always think that y'all superior. They think y'all always to, to keep an advantage over us. But the reality is we need y'all help. We need all the different races help to stand up for black people. We've been marching and protesting for damn near 80 years. Okay? That's just the truth. We've been marching and protesting by ourselves for 80 years and nobody listens. Okay? If everybody stand up for us, they will listen. And that's the whole point. And that's why we doing this, because we all got to come together and y'all got to stand up for us. Because every day in America, a black man is being profiled and being targeted for being black. That's just the truth. Tomorrow, somebody will get pulled over. He'll get some type of charges, some type of injustice, because he don't know his rights. Okay? And that's just the truth. Some black man going to get a job opportunity. He ain't going to get the job, even though he qualified. And that's the truth about the society we live in. But y'all the future and the past and the present. So it's up for us to change all of those things. I appreciate y'all for standing with us. And we're gonna keep on marching. We're gonna keep on going. We're gonna keep on moving. And we're gonna stay together because we're strong together, right? And we march for one thing, right? What do we want? Justice. What do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. What do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. I love each and every one of y'all. I love you too. Man. I really do. I love you too. 
And I would never ask y'all to do nothing that I wouldn't go through. And the last thing I'm gonna say before I get down is, my brother Khalil Coleman, Khalil Coleman, Khalil Coleman, Khalil Coleman, y'all need to know his name just like mine. Khalil Coleman, okay? Khalil Coleman is my partner. We are inseparable, okay? No matter how the media take pictures of me, no matter how much I get platform, that is my partner. He is more important in a lot of things in this movement than me. And he will not get up here and say that. He won't do nothing, but I want y'all to understand, if anything were to ever happen to me, y'all have a great leader in Khalil Coleman, and the message will always continue to grow, okay? So my brother, I want to make sure that when I stand here, that y'all don't sit here and think that I'm doing anything by myself because my brother literally does most of the organizing and all of the stuff that makes it safe. And that's very, 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 very important. And last but not least, most important is all of y'all. Because without all of y'all, this wouldn't mean nothing. Me and him could walk down this street, they'll arrest us. 50 black people could walk down this street, they'll stop this march right now. So... The diversity is what keeps us safe. I asked the sheriff to march with us today. I asked him to march with us today. He chose to march with other people. He asked me to march with them. I said, I march with the people, okay? I don't march with the police. You got the police march with us though, because we're not trying to fight the police. The police fight us, okay? So we gonna continue to ask our sheriff and our mayor and our police department to stand up as a city. We want to be the first city that stand up as one and say this is wrong, what's going on in America as black people. And if we elect these people, if we elect these people to represent our ideas and the things that we want, then they need to stand for the stuff we stand for. Okay? And that go from the mayor to your alderman. If they not out here walking with you, if they not standing for what you standing for, they don't need to be in office. Yeah. Flat, flat out. This is your city. This city is about every one of your ideas. And they are ignoring what you want. And it's a prime example of the people's voice not being heard. So we gonna march every day until they listen to y'all every day every day because we not gonna get tired we will be heard we are milwaukee not the politicians this is milwaukee not them old people that wanted to stay the old way y'all ready where's khalil at khalil you ready I can't breathe, can you breathe? I can't breathe!